Approximately 90% of the world's calories are provided by less than 1% of the quarter million known edible plants. Uh, the big three are wheat, corn, and rice, the reliance upon which may be unsustainable given the ongoing climate crisis. This has spurred new interest into underutilized crops like quinoa, which might do better with the drought and heat. Quinoa has only been introduced in the northern hemisphere recently, but humans have been eating quinoa for more than 7,000 years. I mean, is there any truth to the superfood designation, or is it all just marketing hooey? Quinoa is a pseudo-grain, since the plant it comes from isn't a type of grass. Uh, technically, it's a seed-like fruit. Uh, it does have a lot of protein, also lots of vitamins and minerals, but so do all whole grains. Yeah, it has more protein than other grains, but since when do we need more protein? Right? Fiber is what we're sorely lacking, and its fiber content is relatively modest compared to you know, barley or rye, uh, pretty strong on folate and vitamin E, and uh, leads the pack on magnesium, iron, and zinc, so nutritious, uh, sure. But when I think superfood, I think some sort of special clinical benefit. So you know, broccoli is a superfood, strawberries are a superfood, garlic is a superfood, uh, but what about quinoa? Consumer demand is up, thanks in part to perceived health benefits. In lab animals, it has all sorts of purported benefits, uh, but there have been very few human studies. The first trial was a before and after study of like uh, quinoa granola bars that showed uh, drops in triglycerides and cholesterol, but with no control group. You don't know how much that would have happened without the quinoa. Uh, this is the kind of study I wanted to see a randomized controlled trial and about a cup a day of cooked quinoa for 12 weeks led to a 36% drop in triglycerides. I mean, that's comparable to what one gets you know, with triglyceride-lowering drugs or you know, high-dose fish oil supplements. Which is better, regular quinoa or red quinoa? Well, red does have about twice the antioxidant power, leading the investigators to conclude that red quinoa might significantly contribute to the management and or prevention of degenerative diseases associated with free radical damage, though it's never been put to the test. What about black quinoa? Both red and black appear equally antioxidant-rich, both beating out the more conventional white. The only caveat I can find is to inform your doctor before your next colonoscopy, else they mis might mistake it for parasites. A colonoscopy revealed numerous egg-like, tan-yellow ovoid objects of unclear cause, but it was just undigested quinoa.